Devolver Digital is the king of unique indies. Recently, it's focused on retro-style games, and none of them go as far back as Gato Robato, a one-bit black-and-white Metroidvania where you play as a cat in a mech suit. It was originally released in May of 2019 and launched into Game Pass alongside its Xbox One debut in April of the following year. The appeal is obvious, and critics have been kind, but is Gato Roboto a game pass or a game fail? Gato Roboto wears its influence on its sleeve. It is an unabashed Metroid clone. You can double jump with a spin, blast off rockets, and exiting the mech is similar to Samus's Morph Ball. The lone unique move is an Axiom Verge-esque short teleport that allows you to pass through small barriers and dodge attacks. The combination of the teleport, the spin jump, and the tiny boosts you get from shooting a rocket means movement feels great for the most part. It can be imprecise at times, and playing as the cat can be tough since it dies in one hit. Combat isn't quite as good. Health only refills at save points, and while they are numerous, each section is still a test to pass. This is most evident with the bosses, as it seems like they have more health than is necessary, especially since their patterns don't evolve as you chip deep into the health bar. Since you don't get the auto-fire upgrade for the mech until about halfway through the game, there's a lot of button mashing to be done. Gato Roboto is a quick sit. We beat it in under two and a half hours while getting most of the collectibles, and a 100% run doesn't take much longer. Even so, there's a decent amount of variety. There are three distinct areas, and each tests a different aspect of movement. There are plenty of secrets to find, and each health upgrade makes a meaningful difference. Weapon upgrades also provide new color palettes if you're really nostalgic for the Virtual Boy for some reason. There isn't much backtracking between areas, which is one way it betrays its Metroid influences, but you won't feel like the game is wasting your time either. The story is surprisingly deep, but familiar. You accidentally crash land on an unknown planet while responding to a distress call. With the captain stuck in the ship, it's up to his feline companion to save the day. The story is thoughtful with a lot of lore to flesh things out. There's a lot packed into this tiny experience. Quality Metroidvanias and retro-themed games are a dime a dozen on Game Pass. One that fits both categories is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which is from one of the originators of the subgenre. The pedigree shows. This is also the second week in a row we can recommend Dead Cells, this time as a roguelike take on the Metroidvania instead of vice versa. Of course, the two Metroidvania heavyweights on the service are the two Ori games. Ori and the Will of the Wisps and Ori and the Blind Forest are both excellent if you haven't already devoured them. Devolver Digital has been a supporter of Game Pass for a while now, and plenty of its unique games are on the service. Downwell is a side-scrolling shooter that's also black and white, and it also has a surprising amount of depth. The Messenger starts off as a pure Ninja Gaiden clone, but opens up into a Metroidvania at the halfway point. The Swords of Ditto is a Zelda-like action RPG roguelike. Yeah, that's confusing, but this repetitive game is surprisingly simple. Even after all those comps, we're still just scratching the surface of Devolver's Game Pass catalog. Now it's time to find out, is Gato Roboto a game pass or a game fail? Game Pass is a sampler's paradise, so we tend to shy away from massive epic games that take a long time to avail themselves. Gato Roboto is the opposite of that. It's a bite-sized game that's an amalgamation of classic Metroidvanias with a clever hook, a unique style, and a lot of heart. If you want a shot of Metroidvania action, this gives it to you. Spend a couple of hours, complete it, and then move on. Gato Roboto is a perfect use case for Game Pass. It costs half of the monthly fee, so there's very little chance you'd pay to play it separately. But it's a nice bonus to play in between the bigger games that rationalize the monthly charge. It's great for what it is, and it's great for the service in general. Gato Roboto gets a Game Pass. Join us next week as we take a look at... HyperDot. Thank you.